the Ecuva RMX2 UV water treatment system should provide enough clean drinking water while I'm living in my van. It uses a pre-filter and a UV LED to sanitize the water by removing most of the chlorine and lead and inactivates virtual all E. coli. And with a flow rate of approximately half a gallon a minute, it can treat more than 30,000 gallons in its lifetime. And here's all the information on how I install the Acuva UV in my van. So the next step is uh, installing the separate water faucet for drink water. And I have to drill a hole here. So that's what I'm going to do first. So I got this, this has to be installed in two phases, I still have to drill a hole from the underside up as well, there's a small cavity there. It looks a little bit funny, the two faucets <laughs> instead of one, but uh, they look alike and they fit together, so that's fine. This one, that's a touch faucet. That's just the unfiltered water and this will be then the filtered water from the Acuva UV. Now still some plastic tubing to be uh, installed. So the next step in the uh, water purifier installation uh, I got a PEX push connector that allows me to tap into the cold water supply. So I have to install that first on the cold water line. Okay. It would be nice to have a special cutting tool for PAX lines, but since I won't be using it very often. Now I have put these together, but now can I get that that's one side. That's the least of my issues. That was simple. The next step is to screw in these holders for the filter. Okay, then we have the filter. Power 12 volts underneath here. Now I'm connecting the blue packs water line supply here in this uh, T piece to the pre filter using the pipe that's supplied. Let me see. Now I have to guide it to the rear and now I should be able to push it in. So that's fairly simple. Yep. 
So now I have to connect the pre-filter to the main unit. Now I have to do it this way. Same type of connection. You just push it in. And what I'll do is I also connect right now the tubing that goes to the faucet. On this side I have to connect the tubing in here and that's the biggest issue. I'll put that in here. That works. And I have a connection, an electric connection, to the faucet that I can connect into the unit as well. That's this. Now I have to at least clean up all these lines and attach them to the walls and other points. So that's really fixed. And then I still have this one line that goes from the unit to the faucet. And that's next. So now on the line that goes to the faucet I have to install a flow rate reducer. It doesn't really matter where, but this seems to be an okay place. Uh, the flow, oh, that goes here, and this goes to the faucet. Same, uh, same principle again. Just push this in and pull it a little bit. To make sure that it's that it stays in and this goes to the faucet this has to come together okay that's done then if it's correct got the bottom of the faucet here a little bit awkward place but put the tubing in and then fasten the nut by hand and then I only probably need a quarter turn more to put it really together that should be it well, the installation of the uh, water purification system is finished. Uh, now I'll have to uh, open up the valves and switch on the water supply. So all the lines can be filled, including the water heater. And if I'm correct, we switch on my water pump. Then the next thing in the installation is just to check these, all these lines. That means that I can flush the system for the water purification. That takes about a minute or so. Okay, when I turn on the faucet of the Acuva, you see it start glowing. And then again, there's a blue light over here as well. I need to flush it for about a minute or so. You know, uh, clean water while traveling and living in my van is just a necessity. But the quality of water varies tremendously uh, throughout the country. And after a lot of research, I uh, came to the conclusion that reverse osmosis is probably the best solution. But it has its own issues and it's quite bulky uh, and too much uh, for my van. It is a passive system and uses two filters and it supplies more than enough drinking water for one or two people. But I quickly found out that this Berkey is quite big in this tiny living space. And emptying it and storing it every time that you move to a new location becomes quite annoying after a while. 
With that experience, the Cuva seems to be a much better solution. But it also has its drawbacks. And that's mostly price. It's about twice as expensive as the uh, Berkey. So you can expect uh, paying about four to five hundred dollars for it. The unit uses a minimal amount of uh, 12 volt uh, power. And that's uh, fine with me because I have enough of that. But it introduces uh, possible electrical and component breakdowns in the future. On the other hand, it's uh, compact, uh, it's out of the way, and it works automatically. All in all, I think it's, uh, it's a big improvement. But uh, knowing me, ask me again in about a year or so, and I'll tell you. Oh, before I go, please pay attention to these uh, missing children. If you have any information, please call the appropriate number. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Done a good job.